right, let's get started. So welcome everyone. Uh, today we'll talk about the, the new feature since the, the big last release, the process reviews. So that's something that has been discussed in the past quite a lot. So we're happy to, to introduce our, our take on it. Um, the process reviews are a way to schedule reviews of one or more processes with participants. And what, what it will do is you will have a review. It will send notifications to, to get people in, uh, collect their feedback in a, in a given type, time frame, and then you or the review owner can review all this feedback and act on it. So instead of showing this screen, that is more a summary, I will go through the software and actually first start as what if I was a participant? Uh, how does that work? And then second, we'll look at how does that look from a review owner perspective. So let's get started and then we'll come back on this screen for a summary. So here I'm in the workspace or Spinnaker workspace. And I'm in a new module here called the uh, process reviews, and I see that I already have a couple of uh, review cycles um, uh, set up for me. So this is my view. So these are the views, the reviews that are relevant for me, Colin. Um, so I have a marketing process review, a finance, a quality, and a sales one. And then we see that a couple of months later, the marketing review is coming up. It seems to have been scheduled every every three months. So let's have a look. So I'm a participant and let's go on the finance process review in this case. So I can see who is the review owner, which happens to be me as well, confusingly. Uh, I, there's instructions that the review owner has given me on how to complete the review. So we'll open the processes and add my comments. So this leverages the existing comments feature. And I think this is what makes this feature very easy uh, to use that it's basically just compiling and reusing comments that we already have. So there's two processes under review. Uh, there's the recruit and select new employees and also the P2P, um, uh, P2P processes. Here I can see the comments that have already been left by, by others. So there's a couple from me, but also from Daniel and Chris. So let's, let's say uh, I hadn't done it yet. I'm going to open this P2P process and the way the the way as a participant I'm telling my, my feedback on this process is by using the, the commenting feature. So um, it's in the top right, this is an existing feature, it's already there, there's already a lot of people using it. Um, let's say I'm going to drill down here, uh, approve requisitions, uh, let's say, okay, uh, uh, approval could be automated uh, in some cases, for example, for when below uh, 500, uh, okay, for example. So I'm can, I can attach a comment. So at the moment, this comment is general for the whole process. We don't really know what it's, um, what it's about. And then we can add a call out. So I'm just adding a call out here that shows uh, where exactly I'm thinking about this is, this is relevant. Okay, so I can add one or more comments. Each comments can have one or more callouts if it's relevant for a couple of places. We could also say pointing the same comments to two different places very conveniently. Uh, when I'm done, I can close that. Okay, I'm super happy. Um, and then I can easily go back to my review here. Okay. So finance process reviews. And my comments are there, all right? So approval could be automated. Um, it, it's here, it's shown to, to everyone. So as a participant, I also see the other people participants because maybe they already said what I had to say. Next, I will go into the other process and do the same. I'll do it now. So I can open the processes one by one, add all my comments or review the ones that are from, from existing users. I can also um, reply to an existing comment just to say to validate or say that I agree with it as, a, as another participant. And when I'm done with all my all the review, I need to say, right, I'm done with the review. This will allow the, the participant, the review owner to, to know that I've completed my, my task. So um, it's completed. Uh, and I see here the, the finance process review is completed for me. So I've done my I've done my job. So that that's the view from a participant. As you see, it um, it's fairly simple. You have a first view here that shows you all the reviews for you that are uh, coming up this month and in the future. 
And once you are in a review itself, we just reuse the same comments feature that we have have had for for a number of years now, um, and they they all appear here. Okay, so that's from a participant. Now we'll take the point of view of a review owner. So the review owner, what's his role or her role? The review owner will first uh, plan the reviews. So say, all right, I want to review every three months or every six months for, for these processes. What, from our experience, the when too frequent obviously has no point. It will just annoy people. If it's not enough frequent, it will also be every time you will re-engineer everything and you will have conversations that you, you will have always over and over the same conversations. So in my experience in consulting, I found that a three months, a quarterly review was a good reason because the first reviews will take longer, maybe an hour, an hour and a half, but three months later, you will have time to implement small changes and it will be fresh enough that you can continue the conversation last time, but not too old so that you forget and you just uh, discuss about everything and rediscover the process. So a quarterly review is, is a good timing, I think. Uh, so as a review owner, you will uh, set up these reviews. You will decide uh, the participants that you want to involve, what are the processes in your scope. And you will also be the one that is marking a review as completed by saying, all right, now this review cycle is done. Uh, I, I can get it out of the list of everyone. So. I will do that here. I will have a look, but now I'm the, my heart is the heart of a review owner. At the bottom of the screen, I can see that I, I can close the review so that it gets out of the way. I've taken notes of all the, um, all the comments that people have left. Uh, we can actually mark some of them as completed or I'm dealing with them outside of, uh, outside of score. So let's save. Voila. Now the review is completed fireworks to to thank me and celebrate these big achievements um and i can go back to the list of participants and then go to the, the carry on with my work of implementing these comments so as a review owner how does that work when i want to set up a review cycle i will do one with you from scratch um so i need to give it a title let's say uh, review uh drop in <laughs> review drop-in demo processes. Okay, so I'm the review owner by default, very conveniently. The, the instructions that are given to the, um, to the users are here by default, but you can, uh, you can add more. Uh, please focus on, I don't know, uh, on automation opportunities. So we can give additional instructions or guide the users to the kind of feedback we are looking for. Maybe this time we are looking more about automation opportunities, but in other contexts, it could be, okay, we know that there's still too many paper template or PDFs to fill. We'd like to, to create web forms or saving costs or be faster or increasing quality, et cetera, et cetera. Um, okay, then I'm going next. So that's set up my, my review title, basically saving it. Here I can select the processes that are relevant for me, uh, for my for my review cycle. So here you're selecting the processes in score. We encourage users to have short, sharp, focused processes instead of having one big process map that encompasses everything. So you can select one more. Uh, I'm just, I would just select random processes in this case. Okay, so an intro to forms, the play to playgrounds as well. Um, so these are just the processes that are part of my review, very simple. And here are the participants, and I will come back on this optional. Um, so I'm going to add uh, two participants. Nobody is notified of anything at, at this stage. Um, and here I have two types of reviews that are the one that are optional and the one that are uh, mandatory. The one that are optional are like the one I showed you. I've been able to close it as a review owner. I was able to close the review, even though not everyone had participated in. Okay, so this is what we expect to be the most common type of review is you may tell people, right, please review these processes, but if by the due date they haven't done it, well, too bad, but let, let's move on and let's not harass them um, with emails. On And on the other hand, as a review owner, you can close the review and get done with it. You can also make mandatory reviews. We have more and more customers using SCORE in the context of a compliance, and this is where uh, these reviews can be a great compliance tool to acknowledge or to provide evidence 
that the users have reviewed these processes. They have made an action. So in this case, making it mandatory is what you're looking for. OK, so now what happens is first, as a review owner, I cannot close the review until everyone has said I've reviewed it and we can chase them and the system will send them notifications every couple of days um, while while they haven't done it. OK, so in a compliance context, the mandatory review can be very, very useful for you to provide evidence to an auditor, to an internal audit or external audit that you are doing reviews of your processes and uh, and this is showing showing the, the auditor that it's been done, which user have completed the review, what time, what time they've done it, etc. So I will keep it my optional for now. And then here you're creating your schedule of reviews. So by default, we create two of them three months apart and you can very easily add a couple of more. So here I'm going until for, for the next year, it's covered. Uh, of course, you can change the dates uh, manually if someone is falling on a Sunday or uh, during the holiday breaks or things like that. You can always amend these, uh, these dates at any time, really. Uh, once a review has been completed, you cannot really remove the dates anymore. You cannot change it because, again, in this sort of compliance context or auditing context, we want to keep track of everything. But until the review happened, you can change the dates. So here it is, save, going back to my uh, landing page of uh, when was the first one I created. Yeah, review drop-in uh, process, here it is now. Okay. I think it created twice because I clicked twice on the save button. Um, so review drop in demo. I have three processes and two participants. And the first one is coming up actually here, 12 October. Yeah, today is the date by default anyway. Uh, here it is. My participants will be will be notified in due course. So for talking about notifications, because when we introduced this feature to, to uh, early users, uh, there was a big question. So here is what we settled on. I will zoom in in terms of notifications. So um, three weeks before, we will just notify the review owner. So the person will say, all right, in three weeks time, you own this review and this is coming up. But at this stage, we don't, re we don't notify the participants. And then participants will get notified. So the review owner can decide to, to, to talk, talk about it, send a meeting request maybe to do it as with everyone either in the office or on Zoom. So take actions basically. And then we will notify the participants one week before, one day before and on the due date, provided they haven't done the review, um, obviously. At the end of the, the due, on the due date, we will send a tracker by email to the participant owner. So it will be, all right, here is the status, who's completed the review and who hasn't. But also here are all the comments that the people have added during this review session. So they will receive that directly per, per email very conveniently. And if it's a mandatory re, uh, review, we will keep sending reminders to the to the users, probably not indefinitely, indefinitely, because if someone doesn't want to, it's at some point we, we should stop spamming them. But probably for a couple of days, uh, every every other day or something like that, we'll we'll keep sending uh, sending emails. So that's the notifications that are sent. So to summarize, what is it? Uh, let's view everything. So the review helps you as a review owner, keeping on keeping being on top of your processes. You don't have to use spreadsheets. Uh, to manage the, the review cycle of your processes. You have everything in the same in the same system. And it also allows you to keep your participants, the users of your processes engaged uh, and remind them that these processes are in score. Um, you have two types of review, the optional review and the mandatory reviews. Um, I think that's a good thing. Optional reviews, this is what we expect users to use most of the time, but in a compliance context, the mandatory uh, participation can be a very good, uh, very good tool to show an auditor that you are doing regular reviews of your processes. And from our customers working with ISO 9001, we know that auditors are as much interested in in what the processes you have today. They are interested in how do you make sure you improve your processes. All right. Last time I, I had to do an audit with a company. The question is, they didn't care about the process. They showed me the last improvement you've done to a process. That, that's what they wanted to know. And when was it, obviously? But they wanted evidence that people are working in, they're doing their daily job, but they're as well taking a step back and looking at their work and how they do 
and and making changes to that. And the the, the auditor we had was very interested in in that in the dynamic of process reviews more than the process itself. Um, so the the review owner has a big role to play in these um, in these reviews, as we've seen, and the participants obviously their their inputs is collected. So that's this new feature. It will be available in the management plan. Uh, there's no extra charge for it if you're already in this plan. Um, and yeah, we, we are onboarding customers slowly. So at the moment we are just turning it on like uh, voluntarily to, to customers because we are still fine tuning the, the wordings, the look and feel, everything, but it will be available generally, I think in the next couple of weeks. 